Now this circuit is almost completed and now we will move on to our USB bridge. Just go to your data sheet here. And from this data sheet, first we will match all the pins. This port B start from PB0 to PB7. And this is slightly different. So we have to change this part. Select the part, right click, go to edit part. And we will arrange all these pin according to our schematic. So all the power pins to the left and all the ports pin or digital pins to the right. So these are power pins. I'll move to the left. And this digital pins according to the PD0 to PD7. Now go to your data sheet. Now we can see the 22, 23, 25, 26 and 5 pin are not connected. So we will move it here. So this is 22. I will move it here. Next is 23. Now we can delete this external pad pin because we don't want to use the component with the pad. So I'll simply delete this pin. First select the pin and hit the delete button from your keyboard and we can successfully delete the pin. Now we will move all this pin to the left. Now go to your data sheet and we have from pin 6 to pin 13 on the right side. That means the port D. Uh, this is the port D and I will move to the bottom here. Now this is the port B. Select all the pins and we will move to the right hand side. Just move it here. We have port P, PB0 to PB7. Now we will expand the boundary of this component. First delete the pre-existing boundary. Select the boundary, simply delete it. Now go to your data sheet and we have a reset pin, the crystal pins. So this is our reset pin. These two are the crystal pins. This is our differential pair for our USB connector. Now I have rearranged all the pins according to our schematic and now we will place the boundary just go to the place rectangle and we will place a boundary across this component. Now go to symbol close it and update all. Yes. And we have updated our symbol. Now move this reference designated here and name of the component to the bottom of this symbol. Now we can copy and paste the circuitry for crystal from this component to this component here. So just copy this crystal circuitry here. Control C, Control V and place it here. Now in the same way, we can also place the capacitor and ferrite bead for this component also. Just copy the circuitry. Control C, Control V and place it here. We have a space, so first we have to move the component to the right. 
now we can copy and paste this circuitry now move this avcc pin down here select the component right click edit part move this pin down here close it update all yes and this pin is connected automatically now go to your data sheet and we will place the circuitry for this usb connector here so we will place the header 4 as a usb connector edit this part now first pin is vcc i'll give the name as vcc second pin is d negative third pin is d positive just change the name here as d positive and the fourth pin is ground and we can also make the pin name visible from here just select this one now right click close it and this is our usb connector so just change the name to usb type b next on the data sheet we will place the 22 ohm resistor just copy the resistor from here and paste it here change to 22r this is 22 ohm resistor Now go to our data sheet and next components are variable or resistor. These components are used to protect the circuitry from electrostatic discharge. Usually we use a variable or resistor. So just go to the place part and search for variable or resistor. Just type the varistor here. And you can see the variable resistor here. Just double click it place it here now in the data sheet the next component is 2.2 micro henry inductor here so just search for inductor rotate the component and place it here this is 2.2 micro henry next copy the ground symbol from here paste it here Now connect all these components. Now connect these variable register to each of these D negative and D positive pin. First I will connect to D negative and next, next variable register to D positive pin next connect this inductor to VCC pin now copy the ground symbol
Now the left part of this IC is almost completed. 